Hey everybody, one of the greatest challenges of all the people who are interested in football analytics and uh, especially in football analytics using Python is to get the data, get uh, the football data to analyze and work with. So today I want to show you one of the examples how and where you can uh, get this data and we'll uh, work with uh, understat.com website which provides uh, this kind of data for those willing to practice their uh, football and Python skills. So first of all, let's go to the understat.com. Uh, it's a website which contains lots of uh, football data for a series of uh, leagues. And um, in our case, we'll uh, go and get uh, data for one particular match, one particular game. And I will choose Serie A, uh, Italian Championship. And I'll choose, uh, let me find this. Yep, this one, Inter Milan. Uh, amazing uh, match, by the way, if you haven't seen, I recommend to do. So what uh, we gonna do? We need to copy this match ID, the, this number, it, it's a match ID, and uh, we use it in uh, our Jupyter notebooks. So first of all, let's uh, import all the necessary libraries like request, beautiful soup, which we'll, we'll be using for scraping this website, uh, page, JSON and pandas. Then what we do is we specify the base URL, which is this one, and then uh, we specify the match. So we can do this uh, in one single variable, but if you want to um, change the matches and analyze match after match, it's uh, always a good idea to just uh, change the ID. So let's run it in order to get this URL data uh, from the uh, page we just uh, mentioned. Now, uh, what we're doing here, Basically, we are telling uh, Beautiful Soup to find all the script tags. And uh, let's run this, and I will explain why. Uh, here, we are interested only in the second uh, script tag, which is, uh, that is why we use scripts uh, one, because it uh, responds to the second tag. Let's run it and go to the, this page. And I will show you why exactly we're interested in the second script. If we um, look at scripts, we have the uh, we see that there are five script tags in this page. The first one, as you can see over here, uh, it's not of our concern because regarding them of the website, we can skip this. And second, as we may see, there is this variable shots data, and that's exactly the data we are interested in. So we, by uh, specifying that we're interested in this second script, we are getting this data. In particular, we'll be working with this uh, part of this uh, tag. So let's run it. And let's have a look what we have in our string variable where we stored all the data we just scraped. We see that uh, there is uh, there are, uh, very strange uh, signs, very strange uh, characters in this string. So what we, we want to do is to get rid of these unnecessary symbols and uh, decode this data into JSON. We can do this. Um, executing this cell uh, by limiting, filtering, limiting the um, the space we want to uh, get, and then uh, decoding and transforming into JSON. Let's run it, and let's have a look what we have after this operation. So, excuse me. So we see that we have this uh, huge dictionary. We can call it a dictionary. Uh, with H, which stands uh, for home uh, team, and there is also somewhere A, uh, 
dictionary which which stands for um, away team. So we can just inspect this uh, by specifying a home team and just uh, take a look at the first uh, shots data, the first shot. So we see that the first shot uh, was actually a goal, uh, which was performed by Henrik Mikarian, amazing player from Armenia. And uh, he scored with his left foot. So we can do the same with uh, away team which is in our case Milan and uh, it was a saved shot made by Davide Calabria a defender of AC Milan and it was uh, performed on 12th minute now what we want to do is to convert this JSON structure into the frame why because it's way more easy to and convenient to work with a data frame uh, we can do this like that. And we can uh, have a look away team, what we have like that. And we can see whether we have the same structure for home team and we have. And let's just save uh, this home team and uh, away team that data sets to our df home df away uh, data frames now if you want to uh, work with these data sets straight away you can do this uh, but if you want to uh, keep uh, coming back to this uh, data set and work this later on on this data set later you can save it as a csv file so uh, to do so we don't uh, there is no point of uh, saving two da data sets like DF home and DF away for home and away teams shots. We can uh, combine this uh, data in all in single uh, data set data frame, and we can do this uh, like this. And uh, in order to check whether we have all the data we want, we can uh, check the shape, which is um, the number of rows and number of columns of each of the that data sets and uh, check if the single combined data set have all the data. And uh, we see that uh, DF Home has 14 uh, shots data, DF away 9, in total 23 and 20 plans. So we are good here and we can save uh, this uh, data frame, DF underscore all to CSV and Inter Milan.csv will be our uh, name of our CSV file. And we want to uh, specify uh, index false, it equals false, because we don't want uh, pandas to uh, add uh, another index in our data frame. So we can save. Now, uh, it's good practice to check whether what we've just done, uh, done correctly. And we could load this file and check whether we have this data. And once again, we can check the shape, which is the number of rows and number of columns of this uh, uh, data set we just loaded from the file. And we should uh, get the same number of columns and number of uh, entries as we had in our df underscore all uh, data frame, we were combining these two uh, data sets. So we have uh, the same dimension, the same number of rows and the same number of uh, columns in both data sets. Uh, that means that everything is fine. So basically that's all. Uh, click like, please subscribe to this channel in order to stay tuned for the next videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next useful videos. Bye-bye.